Hi guys, okay. we're live, we're on LinkedIn, this is madness. Thank you so much for joining us on today's webinar. Guys, my name's Pete Moles and I'm thrilled to be here with you as we explore four tools that in my opinion can seriously accelerate your marketing eff efforts. Whether you're just starting out on your business journey or you're looking to refine your approach, these tools are essential for any small business owner who wants to see real growth and success. At Mastermind 9 and Outside Ideas, we spent years working with small business owners just like you, helping them build better businesses, better lives, and better relationships. Now, through our journey, we've identified key strategies that consistently deliver results. And today, I'm going to share four, four of those great tools with you. And when they're applied correctly, I'm certain they're going to help you transform your marketing efforts and go from good to great. Now, I know that you're all really busy people. So my promise is that you'll walk, walk away from this session with actionable ins insights that you can implement in your business right away. And... If you find what we're discussing useful, I'll be sharing an exciting opportunity at the end of this webinar for you to join members of our mastermind groups on our first eight week Mastermind 9 Accelerator, where we'll walk you through each tool week by week and then set you challenges over the coming month so that you can put what you've learned into practice. This program is specifically designed to help you put these tools into action with the support of a community of growth focused business owners who are all on the same journey. Now, for those of you who are on this call, who are part of one of our mastermind groups already, thank you so much for being here. The Accelerator is new and it's a free of cost addition to your membership. So if you've got any questions during the session, fire them into the chat and we'll come to them at the end. Um, so without further ado, let's jump in to the first tool. Creating a client avatar. So let's start with what I believe to be the cornerstone of any effective marketing strategy, the client avatar. Take a second to think about your best customer. The, one, the, the best that you've ever had, the one that you enjoyed working with the most, that paid you the most money, that was always grateful for your skill and experience. They paid you on time. And let's just take a moment to be truly grateful for that person because that's really important. Now, how would it feel if you could fill your client book with people just like that? Uh, well, you can. With a client avatar, it's entirely possible. They could, the client avatar can help you create a target to help you focus on those right people. When you haven't got a clearly defined avatar, it's like trying to hit that target with your eyes closed. Your messages, offers, and the content that you put out, they go out, but they're not landing where you need them to. Why? because you're not really sure who you're speaking to. And when you do try and speak to everyone, you actually end up speaking to no one. Now, a client avatar is essentially a detailed profile of your ideal client. It goes beyond the basic demographics and it dives deep into the motivations, challenges, and desires of the people who are most likely to benefit from what you have to offer. When you have a well-designed client avatar, everything else in your marketing will become easier. Your messaging becomes clear, your targeting becomes more precise, and your overall strategy becomes much, much, much more effective. So how do you go about creating a client avatar? Well, think back to the best customer that you ever had. There will be some interesting things that come up when you start to answer these specific questions. So the first thing to think about is the demographics of that person. Start with the basics, age, 
gender, where they're based, what their occupation is, their income level, their, their education. All of these factors give you a, a broad understanding of who your audience is. Once you've gone through demographics, you then start to dive deeper into the mindset of your ideal client. What are their values, their interests, their hobbies and lifestyle choices? What do they care about most in their life and work? After that, you'll go into pain points. Possibly the most important question. If you ask someone like Erica McKay, she'll tell you probably that this is the most important section. Identify the specific challenges or problems that your ideal client faces. What keeps them up at night? And what obstacles are they en encountering that your product or service can help them solve? Up next, goals and desires. Understand what your ideal client is striving for. What their aspirations, both personally and professionally. What are the outcomes that they are hoping to achieve? And then finally, consider the objections that they potentially had before they had or have before they do business with you. Once you've gathered all of this information, you can create a really detailed narrative around your client avatar. Give them a name, a backstory, and think of them as a real person, like that ideal client that you were talk that we were talking about. So, for example, let's use my friend Sarah Subby, the bit of the fitness coach, as an example. Sarah might have a client avatar that's Debbie, thirty-five year old working mum who struggles to find time for herself, but she's motivated to get back in shape. She values time and wants to find a fitness solution that fits around her busy schedule. Now, the benefits of having a client avatar are enormous. With a clear avatar, your marketing becomes laser focused. You know exactly who it is that you're talking to, which makes your messaging much more relevant and engaging. You'll benefit from higher conversion rates. When your marketing speaks directly to the needs and desires of your ideal client, you're more likely to convert prospects into paying customers. And finally, you'll see better customer retention. A client avatar helps you to understand your customers better, which allows you to build stronger, longer lasting relationships. So in summary, a client avatar is a must have for businesses that want to succeed in today's competitive market. It's the foundation upon which all of your marketing efforts should be built. So that's tool one. Tool two, creating a leads list. Now that we've established the importance of knowing who it is that you're targeting, creating a leads list becomes absolutely foundational. I talk to my clients and indeed our team about targeting 200 and focusing on 30 and we're going to delve into that now so why does it matter leads are the lifeblood of any business without leads you've got no one to sell to and without sales well, you won't really have a business it's not just about having any old leads though it's about having the right kind of leads a well curated lead list consists of potential clients who match your client avatar who are likely to be interested in what you offer. Creating a targeted lead list allows you to focus your marketing efforts on those who are most likely to convert. It will save you time, money and energy in the long run and ensure that you're not wasting resources on people who aren't a good fit for your business. So, Bit of a gross analogy, but imagine that you're at war for a second. You're in the trenches and you've got enemy running towards you from all over the place. If you lose your head and you start taking shots there and there and there and over there, the likelihood is that you'll be less effective than if you go, I'm just going to focus on those people there. And then you just start taking very well-focused shots. 
bit of a gross analogy, but you get where I'm going. Now, where might you go to find people for your list? Networking. It remains one of the most effective ways to generate leads. You can attend industry events, join relevant groups on social media, engage in online communities where your ideal clients are likely to hang out. The beauty of building some of your list from networking groups is that the people should be open to one-to-ones and getting to know you. Up next, social media. Platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram are gold mines for lead generation. We use Sales Navigator um, all the time in our business. And if you were to join the Accelerator, we'd get you to do a free trial of Sales Navigator and fill your target 200 full of leads in no time at all. But you can also use things like Facebook and Instagram to use targeted ads to reach potential clients based on the demographics that you've identified from your client avatar. You can ask your current clients and friends for referrals. We should never underestimate the power of word of mouth, encouraging your clients to refer to others in their network. You can even create a, a referral program with incentives to motivate your clients to help spread the word. And then finally, lead magnets. Creating lead magnets that are specifically designed to attract your ideal customers could, could be a free consultation, a downloadable resource, access to a webinar. Make sure the lead magnet is highly relevant to the needs of your client avatar. Now, the benefits of a lead list are huge. With a target list, you can focus on nurturing relationships with people who are already interested in what you have to offer, making the sales process much smoother, much simpler. Increased conversion rates. Since your lead list is made up of people who match that client avatar, they're much more likely to convert, to convert into paying customers. And then possibly the biggest benefit that we've found is an efficient use of resources. Instead of casting the net really wide and being scattergun, a targeted lead list al allows you to allocate your marketing budget and resources to where it's going to have the most impact. So creating a, a lead list is not a one-time task. It's an ongoing and iterative process that requires constant refinement and updating. As people come out of the lead list, new ones must come in. So you've got a constant flow of 200 people in the target list and 30 in your focus list. As your business grows and evolves, it too, as so should your, your lead list. By keeping it up to date and relevant, you'll ensure that your marketing efforts remain effective and that your business continues to thrive. Tool three, getting your message straight. Now that we've covered who you're targeting and how you're going to find them, let's talk about what you're saying to them. Your messaging is how you communicate your value to your audience. It makes people decide whether to engage with you or to move on to the next option. If your messaging isn't clear, compelling and consistent, you'll struggle to attract and retain the customers, no matter how good your product or service is. Effective messaging resonates with your audience because it speaks directly to their needs, their desires, and their pain points. It positions you as the solution to their problems and makes it easy for them to understand why they should choose you over the competitors. Now, how do you develop a messaging that hits the mark? First up, no surprise, align it with your client avatar. Start by revisiting your client avatar. Your messaging should speak directly to the person that you've defined. Use the language that they use, address the challenges that they face, and highlight the benefits that matter most to them. 
Your messaging should be clear and easy to understand. Avoid jargon or overly complex language. The goal is always to commute your to communicate your value proposition in a way that anyone can understand, even if they're not familiar with your industry. Focus on the benefits, not the features. When crafting your message, your clients that your clients will receive, not just the features, your products or service, but for example, say our, our software has a, a powerful analytics tool. Rather than saying that, say our software helps you make data-driven decisions that lead to higher profits. Similar, but very, very different. Your value proposition is a concise statement that explains what you do, what you do it for, and why you're the best choice. It should be front and center in all of your messaging from your website to your marketing materials. Next one's important. People connect with stories. Use storytelling to convey your message in a way that's relatable and memorable. Share customer success stories, case studies, or even your own business journey to illustrate the impact of your product or service and its winning formula. Every piece of messaging should include a clear call to action. Tell your audience exactly what you want them to do next, whether it's signing up to a newsletter, booking a consultation, or making a purchase. And this final one is really relevant to us right now. Those of you who have been following our journey will know that we went from a strap line, which was um, surround yourself with people who refuse to let you fail to grow so much you'll need a bigger dream. And, and I think what I would say is don't be afraid to test different versions of your messaging to see what resonates or not with your audience. It's... Um, and, and don't be afraid to say we got it wrong, because by getting it wrong, the next time you'll learn and you'll get it right. So in terms of the benefits of getting your message straight, clear, consistent messaging will build trust with your audience. They'll know what to expect from you and feel confident in your ability to deliver on your promises it will differentiate you from your competitors. Strong messaging will help you stand out in a crowded market. It will clearly communicate what makes you different and why potential clients should choose you. And lastly, when your messaging resonates with your audience, they're much more likely to engage in your content, inquire about your services, and ultimately make a purchase. So in conclusion, getting your messaging straight is crucial for any business that's looking to connect with its audience and drive meaningful results. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it. When your messaging is clear, compelling, and aligned with your avatar, it becomes a powerful tool for attracting and retaining clients. Now, that's three tools down, one to go. How are we doing on time? We're doing well. The last tool, creating a marketing plan. Anyone who knows me will know that planning is a massive part of what I of what I believe to be important for business. And marketing is a strategic roadmap for achieving your business goals. It outlines what you want to accomplish, how you're going to do it, and when you're going to make it happen. Without a plan, your marketing uh, efforts can be disjointed, inconsistent, and ineffective. Think of your marketing plan like a blueprint for success. It ensures that all of your efforts are aligned, that you're making the most of your resources and you're staying on track to meet your objectives. It also provides a really useful framework for measuring your progress and making adjustments as you need. So how do you create a marketing plan? There's a few steps in this one. First up, you've heard it before, define your goals. Start by setting clear, measurable goals for your marketing efforts. What do you want to achieve? Is it increasing brand awareness, generating leads, 
boosting sales or something else. Your goal should be specific, measurable, achievable, uh, relevant to what you're trying to achieve and time bound. Next up, revisit your client avatar and define the target audience for your marketing plan. This will help you tailor your messaging and choose the right channels to reach them. Based on your goals, your target audience, choose the marketing strategies that will be most effective for you. This could include networking, content marketing, social media, email, SEO, paid advertising, direct mail, cold calling, or any combination of those. And then outline your tactics. The tactics are the specific actions you'll take to implement your strategy. So for example, if content marketing was one of your strategies, your tactics might include blogging, creating videos, or hosting webinars. Be as detailed as possible in outlining what needs to be done. Set a budget. Determine how much you're willing to invest in your marketing efforts. Your budget should cover everything from advertising costs to the tools and resources associated with doing the marketing. Make sure that your budget aligns with your goals and the expected return on your investment. Two more. Create a timeline. Establish a timeline for your marketing activities, which would include key milestones, deadlines, and a schedule for when each tactic should be executed. A timeline will help you stay organized and make sure that your efforts are consistent. And then finally, include a, a plan for measuring success of your marketing efforts. Identify the key performance indicators that will help you track your progress and be prepared to make adjustments to your plan on what's working and what's not. Now, the benefits of a marketing plan. A marketing plan will provide clear focus and direction for your efforts. It helps you stay on track and avoid distractions that can lead to wasted time and resources. Consistency is crucial in marketing. A plan ensures that your messaging, branding, activities are consistent across all channels, which builds trust and recognition with your audience. With a plan in place, you can allocate your resources more effectively. You know, we're all so time poor. So you'll know where to invest your time, your money, your money and your energy and get the best results. And finally, a marketing plan will hold you accountable. It sets clear expectations and milestones, making it easier to track your progress and stay motivated. Creating a marketing plan takes time and effort up front, but the payoff is well worth it. It's the difference between random acts of marketing and a strategic approach that drives real results. With a plan in place, you'll have a clear roadmap to follow, making it easier to set your business, to achieve your business's goals. So in summary, four tools that will significantly enhance or accelerate your business. Create an avatar so that you're crystal clear on who your target is. Build a list, make it visual, and remember to target 200 and focus on 30. Perfect your message, making sure that you land with your target market. And then finally, create a marketing plan so that you know exactly what you will do to bring in the results. I'm absolutely confident that if you find time to complete these four activities, you'll have significantly improved the chance of generating more opportunity for your business. And I hope that you're feeling inspired and ready to take your marketing to the next level. But I also know that implementing these tools can feel overwhelming, especially if you're trying to do it on your own without a background in marketing. That's why I invite you to, to join our Mastermind 9 Accelerator. It's an eight-week program designed to help you put these tools into action with the support and guidance of an experienced coach and a community of like-minded entrepreneurs.
We primarily put the accelerator together for people who are members of our mastermind groups already as a way of helping them further advance their business and providing even more value to them. But whilst it's been designed to support our current clients, we're not limiting it to them. If you're not a Mastermind cl 9 client, you can still join the Accelerator for each individual block. The first one being marketing, the second sales, and the third one LinkedIn, which takes us up to January. Each program is designed to upskill business owners and give them the tools and confidence to succeed. Each block runs for eight weeks. You'll need to commit to about three hours of your time each week to get the results that you deserve. For non-Mastermind 9 clients, each block is £200 plus VAT, or you can sign up for the full six months up front for £500 plus VAT. And here's what you'll get. Downloadable templates to make applying what you've learned a doddle. Weekly accountability and questions and answers with myself to get tailored advice, support and feedback on your specific business challenges. Peer support, we'll put a WhatsApp group in place for all of the people on the accelerator who are focused on growth and on the same journey as yourself. You'll get actionable insights, learn proven strategies and techniques that you can implement right away to see the results. And then finally, and possibly the most powerful are the weekly challenges in, that come in week five through eight, where we will challenge you to use what you've learned and the information that you've gathered to, to go on and do great things with, uh, with the next four weeks. And that's it. We've come to the end. I, uh, I asked for 30 minutes of your time and I've done it in 27 and a half. Woo! Um, but we've got time for a few questions and answers. So I'd love to give you um, the opportunity to, to, to give me any questions that you might have. And if you wanna put some of those into the chat, then that's that's great. I'll answer anything that um, that you throw at me, uh, as long as it's based around Mastermind 9 Accelerator or anything that's been talked about in this session. So, um, Robin, I'm going to come to you and see whether there's any questions that people have asked. Yes, thanks, Pete. We've got a question from Grace um, that says, what if you have different groups to communicate with, uh, as with a charity they have potential funders, volunteers, families they're supporting. So yeah, amazing. yeah, amazing. Great, great question, Grace. So if I tell you that we've got nine avatars for Mastermind Nine, um, it's highly likely that you will have more than one avatar. But the way that we get people to start is by focusing on the one best customer. If I go back to the fitness coach analogy, um, it's probable that that fitness coach will have three or four different avatars for people for different products and services that they are providing. So start with one and then go from there. Awesome, thanks Pete. And then we've also got two more, one from Natalie. Um, aside from asking questions to your current clients, how can you find out your avatar's values and likes, etc.? That's a really great quest question, Natalie. I think um, uh, what you've mentioned, asking them, is probably uh, one of the easiest ways. But I guess it, it comes down to, to looking through their collateral and their material, looking on their website, you'll get a really good understanding of what a company is like from the messaging that they're using um, through their official channels. But I think that you hit the nail on the head, mate, to be honest with you. Asking them is probably the best uh, the best option. Great. And then we've got a last one from Kelly. How do we choose the people we want to be in touch with? There are so many in each industry. Yeah, it's a great, a great question. Um, go back to the thing I said about the one that you enjoyed working with the most. The one that paid you really well, that really uh, enjoyed, that, that you enjoyed working with. Um, they paid you on time. The project was fun. 
figure out the demographics and psychographics and all of the things to do with that avatar um, for them and then go and find a copycat because there will be lots and lots and lots of other people who are like that best customer. So I would always just say, focus on the best customer that you've you've had in the past and then make them a little bit more rich and a little bit more grateful and go from there. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. I think that's it for now. That's it. We went live on LinkedIn. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, guys, thank you so much for being with me. It's been a pleasure. I, I really hope that you found it useful and you've taken lots of uh, ideas and inspiration away that you can build on your own or you can join the Mastermind Accelerator. So from me, much love. Thank you for being here and we'll see you again soon.